Praise the Lord. Okay, tumaya po natin ang salita ng Panginoon. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 2. Tumaya po natin ang salita ni Lord sa Matthew chapter 2. Are you still bringing your Bibles? Yes. You have it with you now. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 2. And we are going to read from verse 1 to verse 18. Okay. Are you ready with me? Yes. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem in Judea. They replied, For this is what, what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. And Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child, and as soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. And then they opened their treasures, presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and mirror. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. When they had gone, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, and take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up and took the child and his mother and during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what our Lord, what the Lord had said through the prophet. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious. And he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time that he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. May the Lord and more blessing upon the reading of this word. Today, I'd like to share with you from the bulletin here, my first uh, uh, message for Christmas, and we're going to have another series about Christmas. We had just had a, a series about Thanksgiving last month, and so today we're going to talk about Christmas. And uh, one of the challenges of a minister like me every Christmas is for the last 37 years, I probably have preached about every corner of the passage about Christmas. And so I began to pray again this uh, week and said, Lord, I do not know what to preach anymore about Christmas. And you know, God is always faithful. And uh, he has given me this thing. And... Uh, uh, ang pamagat po ng ating mensahe ngayon ay nagsasabi the four ironies of Christmas. Now, bago po tayo magsimula, ayos pong sabihin sa inyo na Christmas to many of us is an event. But Christmas is not an event. To a believer, Christmas is a person. Amen? Amen. Magpapalit uh, po ang pananaw ng bawat isa sa atin. If we are going to treat Christmas not as a holiday season, not as an event, but as 
a person in the person of the Messiah, and his name is Jesus Christ. Siya po ang centerpiece ng Christmas. Marami pong mawawala irony, and I'd like to define what irony is. An irony is a situation in which something which was intended to have a particular result has the opposite or a very different result. In other words, an irony is something that gives us frustration. Inaasahan mo, pero hindi nangyari. Amen? Aliwanan ko ba? Something that you, uh, uh, that is intended to happen, or something, uh, if it is a response, something that you believe should be the right response, but the response was just another. And uh, an irony can become a sarcasm. Ano yung sarcasm? Talagay ko naman lahat kayo ay dumaan ng high school English. Meron po ba hindi dumaan ng high school English? Sa English po, merong literature. Sa literature, lumalabas itong mga figure of speech na yan. At isa doon ay yung tinatawag nga na irony. And so, napakarami pong irony sa Christmas. Meron lamang po akong apat na irony ngayon dahil ang babasihan natin ay ang kwento ng, ng uh, mga pantas na dumating sa Jerusalem. Alam niyo, uh, we need to clear up something about Christmas. First and foremost, uh, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi, ito pong Magi, ay parang magi seasoning. Wala lang uh, yung magi seasoning. Dalawa lang ang ginoon, di ba? Ito, isa lang. Uh, ang magi po ay hindi hari. Magis are not kids. They are wise men. Okay? At ang ibig sabihin po, pag tinawag na wise men from the east, uh, most probably, sabi ng mga commentaries, they are astrologers. At pagka sila ay tinawag ng mga Astrologers, these are the uh, scientists in the past who studied the movement of the stars. Hello? And alam niyo ba na isa sa mga abomination, isa sa mga karumaldumal na gawain na tinatawag na karumaldumal na gawain sa Old Testament ay itong pag-aaral uh, uh, ng tinatawag na horoscope. Okay? Kaya... Siguro naman ay hindi na kayo nagpapasa ng horoscope ninyo araw-araw. Okay? Wala akong katotohanan yan. At yun nga po ay karumaldum, ano nagawain, na pinasusukro na ng Diyos ng Old Testament, magpahanggan na yun. Kaya, kapatid, uh, hindi ko na uh, hihilingin na ito as kung kamay mo. At ayaw kong uh, uh, ikaw ay ma-embarrass. Uh, kung ikaw man ay uh, nagpapasa pa ng horoscope, ay titigil mo na. At uh, humingi na tawad sa Panginoon at uh, move forward. Okay? Hindi po tayo nagtitiwala na ating, uh, ang ating buhay ay nakasalalay sa mga bituin. You understand? Okay. And so, they came from the east at uh, nung panahon ni Haring Herodes. And uh, uh, the east, meaning to say sa kanluran, at kung titignan mo sa map yung kanluran ng, uh, ng Israel, Uh, it is something between uh, Turkey and Iraq. Okay? Doon sila galing. And uh, alam nyo, nung unang panahon, wala pang MTR, wala pang taxi, wala pang Uber. Okay? And so, uh, alam natin na sila ay sumakay ng kamelyo. And gayon lang ang means of transportation nila. And if you are going to measure the number of a thousand miles, thousands of miles from uh, the place where they have come from, They must have journeyed for a long time. Mahabang uh, lakbayin simula doon sa kanilang pinagmulan hanggang doon sa Jerusalem. And yet, they travel that far because they are very eager to understand and to know who the king that was born was. Ngayon, sabi dyan ang tanong, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews. Can you imagine this, guys? They are so eager. 
they are very certain. Alam na alam nila na somebody was born. And they asked. And nabulabog ang buong Jerusalem. Kasi nung walang panahon, wala pang radio, wala pang TV, wala pang news coverage. You understand? Wala pang TV patrol. So the only way na maipahayag mo na darating ka ay magsisisigaw ka sa daan. Meron tinatawag ng town crier. And they will begin to uh, shout in a loud voice saying, Where is the one that is born King of the Jews? And you can imagine with your healthy imagination this morning, okay, na mga tao from their homes will gather around the streets because nabulabog na eh. Uh, uh, sino itong hari ang sinasabi ni ng mga ito? Na meron lang naman tayong isang hari, si Herodes. Eh, bakit nagtatanong ngayon ito, where is he that is born, king of the Jews? And then he said, we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Ang kalayo mo sa napakalayong lugar na yon. alam nila ang, ang very distinguished star na ito. And uh, wala akong makita ng magandang paliwanag sa mga commentaries kung ano yung star na yon and many, many are even na uh, baffled uh, and confused uh, what the star was. And there are many suggestions. And yet, I believe there is a definite star, probably the star of David, na tinatawag that rose during that time. And these astrologers probably have read the prophecy of the prophet Jeremiah that uh, talks about the coming of this king. And uh, they have come, and sabi dyan, we have come to worship him. By that introduction, we are now ready to go to the four ironies of Christmas. Okay? Then pong apat na irony, bag bago yun, uh, bisitahin muna natin si Santa Claus. <laughs> Sabi ni Santa Claus, I no longer keep a naughty or nice list. I am only concerned who friends me on Facebook. <laughs> so, <laughs> si, si, si Santa Claus na yun, meron na siya, uh, uh, eh, nasa Facebook na siya, kaya eh, i-friend na siya. By the way, we don't believe in Santa Claus, but this again is one of the ironies of Christmas. Another, another example of irony is this. Posting signs on windows or doors is prohibited, but he just did that. He posted a sign. <laughs> you understand? Okay. That is what you mean by irony. Irony, however, is encouraged. Okay? Sinabi na niya na bawal mag-post ng signs a window or doors. And yet, he just did that. <laughs> Amen? Now, this is the first irony of Christmas. Ang unang irony ng Christmas ay ito. Um, sabi niya, uh, the frigidity of the priest. Alam niyo, uh, familiar kayo sa word na frigid. Pag isang babae daw ay frigid, siya ay malami. Frigid? 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 <laughs> you remember? Hello? <laughs> okay. Are you familiar with the word frigid air? Malami. Okay. Uh, um, when you talk about somebody who is frigid, he is passionless. And I am talking about the priest during those times. Uh, the mga pari na dinatnan nila nung panahong yun. Sabi niya, when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed. Okay, napulabog sila in all Jerusalem with him. But I am not, I am not uh, particular with the uh, disturbance that caused uh, Herod and Jerusalem by the coming of these Magis. I am concerned about the priests. Tingnan natin kung ano ang attitude ng mga priests. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem of Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler 
who will shepherd my people, Israel. Now, bakit ko na nasabing napaka-passionless, napakalamig ng mga pahaling ito? Sabagkat, nakalain mo yun, this is the irony of all it. Yung napakalayo, very passionate. Yung nando na mismo, walang Passion. Again? Marami po niyan sa life po eh. <laughs> Hello? Hallelujah. Uh, yung mga tinatawag na uh, physically present but spiritually absent. Again? Hindi niyo ba nakita ang irony na uh, ang mga ang mga pantas na yon, ang mga maajais na yon. They are not even considered as believers of Jehovah. No, they are not. And then they are Gentiles. They, they do not belong to the commonwealth and community of Israel. And yet, they are passionate. Kakaiba ang mga, mga, mga pantas na ito sapagkat uh, uh, they have this very scant information na Darating ang isang Mesiya and he is going to be born and the sign is a star. And here are the custodians of the scripture. And dito sa Jerusalem, yung mga nag-iingat ng salita ng Diyos, sila ang mga pangulong pare and yet they know. Tingnan nyo, uh, nung pinanong sila ni Hanig Herod, ay alam nila agad. Uh, uh, from memory, hindi na sila pumunta doon at dinala yung itim na iklat at binuksan doon sa harapan ni Herod at binasan. No! They caught it from memory because they understand and they know. You see, but this is knowledge without zeal. May kaalaman pero walang walang passion. Ako natutuwa every time na nakikita ko sa inyong uh, in yung uh, Facebook uh, chat group in which I am a member <laughs> of all your chat groups. Pag natutuwa pagka sinasabi ng leader, oh, ang memory verse natin this week, kailangan i-memorize natin. Napakahalaga po ng uh, scripture memorization. Napakahalaga po na, na napakarami nating na isa sa ulo patungkol sa salita ng Diyos. Kanya lang meron pong nag-comment sa, sa, sa Facebook. Ang sabi niya, Uh, uh, the Word of God should not only be memorized, it should be lived. Hello? Ang salita na ng Diyos daw ay hindi lang sinasa ulo, yun ay ipinamumuhay. Amen? Naalaala ko tuloy, uh, ilang uh, taon na nakakaraan, ano nyo, sa live way, lagi ako may pa-contest eh. Okay? Again? Ako ang si pastor na pa-contest. Again? Okay? Again? Alam mo, nagkaroon kami ng contest noon kung sino makaka-memorize ng the whole book of Philippians. Akala mo, ako'y mangha-mangha. Siguro, uh, uh, ilan ang nakamemorize noon ng, uh, ng uh, aklat na Apostol Pablo ng Philippians. At hindi lang na-memorize, ititiklaim mo pa yun. Magsusuot ka ng, uh, ng uh, costume na parang si Apostol Pablo at haharap ka dito at uh, ititiklaim mo yon. Alam niyo, pagka may declamation, may emotion yun. You understand? Now, meron mo na isang kapatid na uh, bihira ang nakakakilala sa kanya. Kasi siya yung tipo na darating late. Hindi pa natatapos ang closing prayer ko lang. <laughs> Yun siya ang tinatawag na Christian incognito. Now you see, now you know. Akalaan mo sumali. <laughs> Eh, sa lahat ng nag-memorize, siya ang perfect. Pati yata kama, minimize niya. Ako'y mga mga at uh, siya ang nanalo. Nanalo siya. Kaya lang, in three weeks time, nawala na. Naglaho na, hindi na nagpakita. You understand? The Word of God failed to transform her into a passionate follower of Jesus Christ. My friends, this priest during the time of Herod 
spent all their lives knowing the scriptures, knowing the prophetic utterances. Ano kaya kung si Jesus ay sa panahon natin pinanganak at sasabihin na ipapanganak siya sa Jordan Road? <laughs> Ilang kaya sa atin ang magchichaga na hahanapin ang lugar na yon kung saan, baka dito sa life po yung mismo yung pinanganap. You understand? Hindi kaya ganun ang gagawin natin. But here, here are the priests. You understand? And this is one of the greatest irony of Christmas. Yung dapat na, na, na maging masigasig, hindi masigasig eh yung dapat na mainit, hindi mainit niya. Alam niyo, may mga scriptures na nagsasabi niya, the irony, He was in the world and no, the world was made through Him. The world did not recognize Him. Akalay mo siya, ang may lalang ng langit at lupa, okay? at sa pamamagitan niya ay ginawa ito. Ngunit ang sanlibutan, ang na kanyang ginawa, ay hindi siya na-recognize. Now look, he came to his own. Dumating siya sa kanyang mga pinili. He came to Israel because he was a Jew. Alam mo si Lord, pinananak na Hudyo, and the Jews did not receive him. In fact, if you go to Israel ngayon, they are still waiting for the coming Messiah. For them, Jesus is not the Messiah. Now that is ironical. Amen. Hello? Amen. And so, uh, ang tanong ko ngayong umangan nito is, si Lord kaya, kasi hindi na tinaasahan yung unang pagbabalik, dumating na siya, nakalis na na eh. Nasa langit na na eh. Kaya lang, sinasabi ko sa inyo ngayon, darating siya ulit. And when he comes back, will he see a passionate church or a frigid church? You understand? Nang yung malapit na malang 2019. And every December, lalo na pagka uh, bisperas ng bagong taon, nagiging emotional ako. Bakit? Kasi nga, I know na bawat taon may ginagawa ang Panginoon. Sa taon ito, napakaraming ginawa ng Panginoon, right? Uh, sa panaw, uh, sa taong ito, the Lord has blessed us so much. <coughs> For the very first time, we crossed the threshold of 200 uh, attendees uh, as a church. For the very first time, um, we have more. I, I, I was able to go out more than ever before. Na mas marami akong mission trips na nangyari ngayong taong ito. Please, anong naran? And the Lord has opened doors for us to minister, even if we are a small church. We have become a blessing to other nations. Mm -hmm. Amen. You understand? And I believe the Lord is going to open more doors in the coming year. Amen. This year also is also the very first year that we have an associate pastor. Amen. And we uh, have a lot of appointed leaders. We have a lot of cell groups. Ah, I think that's what happened to me, although we have a few months. And I was asking the Lord this morning that magkaroon ng uh, himalak na yung uh, buwang ito na malagdagan pa ang dami na nagpapatala as members of Lifeway. And yet I believe God has done a marvelous thing. Amen. And I believe that He is going to do another marvelous thing much greater than He has done this year. And that is why I become emotional and I become excited. Now, if you want, the key to passion is renewal. I'll say that again. Kung gusto mo magkaroon ng passion sa Panginoon, kailangan ng renewal. Amen? So kailangan mo mag magkaroon ng renewal sa Panginoon. Paano mangyayari yun? Well, you have to seek the Lord uh, again. And, uh, uh, probably one of your prayers this week or this month is, Lord, give me a new challenge. Give me a new door. Open a new door for me. Alam mo, nakaka-excite pagka si Lord nagbukas ng panibagong pintuan. Again? 
Huwag, huwag bintana ang pagbuksan mo sa pagbuksan mo. Pinto. Kasi yung iba, bintana lang pinagbuksan eh. Kaya lagi ka lang nakatungaw. Hindi ka nakakarating, di ba? Pero pag pintuan, ang pinagbuksan mo sa mga inawal at pagbukas siya ng pintuan sa iyo, you better get ready to get out of that door or to enter that door. Amen? That will renew your passion. Look at the Magi's. They saw an opportunity. Para sa kanila, it is an earth-shaking event na makita nila ang prophesied Messiah. And you know, when you are called the Messiah, you are the chosen one. And nakita nila yung star. Now, tignan nyo ha? Uh, yung itong mga Pangulong Pare, nakita din nila yung star. Sinabi pa sa, sa ano? Sinabi din nyo sa verse 7. Then Herod called the Magi separately and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Tinanong ni Herod dun sa mga Pangulong Pare, anong oras lumabas yung star? Sila din, alam nila, na may lumabas nakakaibang star. Kaya lang itong mga Pare, ito, ito yung mga tipo na, na hindi nasasi, nasisinta. Wala nang o oh, and wonder. Alam niyo? Yung mga, yung mga bagong katatanggap sa Panginoon, isa lang ang distinguishing uh, factor nila. Meron silang tinatawag na O, hindi letter O ha, A-W-E. O. Say the word with me. O. Okay? Yung may expression na O. <laughs> Ba, nagigilalas ka? Oh. oh. And wonder. Wonder. Kagilagilalas, kamangha-mangha. Alam nyo, alam na alam na ang kristyano na wala nang kalatoy-latoy eh. Wala nang panggigilalas, wala nang pagkamangha sa Diyos. Amen? Pag yun ang nawala sa iyo, you are dead. Amen. 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 And there are many walking zombies today. Ay mga naglalakad na zombie. Mga worship. Okay? Tignan nyo. Yung mga song leader ninyo nagre-report sa akin. Gusto. Nag-iiyakan na yung iba. Yung iba nagtataas ng kamay. And they are lost in the presence of that real iba na ko gano'n. Zumbi. Eh bakit ka papunta dito kung hindi ka rin lang mag-worship? Zumbi. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, huwag kang kanya. Sabi ni Albert Einstein, the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil. But by those who watch them without doing anything. Katulad ng mga Pangulong Pare, they know where the star is. They know that it is a phenomenon. They know that it is something that is unusual. But they don't care. Been there, done that. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, then I pray na bago ko umalis ngayong umangang ito, ay magkaroon ka uli ng passion. Amen? Because Christmas is not about is not about Christmas trees. Yan yung church natin. Wala ka man lang magkat ang Christmas. <laughs> okay? Alam niyo, walang panahon, Christmas, pagka Christmas, ah! I tell you, siguro uh, lahat ng sulok ng church by dekorasyon niya. Tinanggal ko lahat. Bakit? Kasi nga, nakukukos ang, ang, ang concept ng tao is Christmas is an event rather than a person. And His name is Jesus Christ. Amen? Uh, those who watch 
and does not do anything. Pakita nung nga uli ang katabi mo, may passion ka ba? Okay. Ito naman si Martin Luther King. Maraming, maraming tao, ganito eh. Sabi niya, there are too many people too unconcerned. Walang pakialam to love. Too passionless, passionless to hate evil. Too detached to be selfish. Too lifeless to be unselfish. Too indifferent to experience joy. And too cold to express sorrow. They are neither dead nor alive. They merely exist. If you are neither dead nor alive, then you are a zombie. <laughs> the word of the Lord has something in, in Revelations. You remember in Revelations, something in the Lord, Sala ka sa lamig. Sala ka sa init. Okay? Sa lahat ng ayaw ni Lord, yung mga, mga taong maligamgam. Alam, alam niyo kung ano yung maligamgam? Okay? Lukewarm. Yes, that is the exact word in English. Lukewarm. How many of you likes a lukewarm coffee? Okay, kung ikaw ay manginginom ng kape, katulad ko, gusto kong kape yung umukuso. Na yung mas malakas ang higok kaysa sa kape ng iniinom. <laughs> Amen? Ayaw ko nang maligam ka. Ngayon, pagka umayin naman ako ng kapit sa McDonald's at napakarami ng kapit na kalagay ito, lumalangin na yun. Bibigyan ako ng gano'n. Sabi ko, no, 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 no. Get me a new one from the... Ano? Parang si Lord ayaw niya ng maligam ka. Si Lord ayaw niya ng now you see, now you don't. Si Lord, ayaw niya nang hindi nagkukumit. Okay? Sino yun? May lumingon ka. Hanggang kailang ka, manunood lang kapatid. Hanggang kailang ka, tatayo lang sa fence. Babala ko ito sa iyo. You understand? Hanggang kailang ka na taga-panood lang. Hanggang kaya lang ka magsiseryoso sa Panginoon. Kung nandiyan na siya, too late. Amen? And this is the word of the Lord. Uh, a lot of people are so uh, rigid. Sabi ng isang uh, babae sa kanyang asawa, ay yung kanyang uh, asawang lalaki, lagi nagpapasa ng newspaper. What happened to that get up and go you once had? Sabi niya, hmm, It got up and went. Amen? Uh, ako'y nalulungkot na pakarami kong mga kapatid nung bago sa Panginoon ay talaga namang uh, nagliliyam. Parang uh, kugon na pag sinindihan mo yung tuyong kugon, talaga namang laga na pang ako yan. Very infectious, very convincing. Ang init. Abay, nung namatay ang apoy, kahit usok, wala. Iyan na sa'yo. Hallelujah. This brings us to the second. The felicity of the magic. Say the word with me. Felicity. Di ba lagi tayo, lagi, lagi natin may inaawit yung Feliz Navidad. Di ba gano'n pa kumay? Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero Anyo Felicidad. Kaya lang ang tanong mo ngayon, ano mo ba ang ibig sabihin ng Pilis na Bidad? Anybody here who knows the meaning of Pilis na Bidad? Ibig mo sabihin, kinakanta niyo, hindi niyo alam! Hello! Ano ibig sabihin ng Pilis na Bidad? Pilis comes the word! Felicity. And what does it mean? Mary. Yes, Mary or joy. Oh. Now, how about Navidad? What is Navidad? Eh, pangalan ng tiyo ko, Navidad. 
Navidad is not Christmas. It's Nativity. Ano yung sabihin ng Nativity? The birth of Christ. So join in the birth of Christ. Oh. <laughs> sasayaw ng malaswa, ha? Kasi, uh, birth of Christ yun, eh. You understand? Now, the joy of the Magi is so contagious. Now, listen, uh, look at this. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. Alam nyo, pag nakikita mo yung uh, anything that you see about the Lord, kung tama ang damdamin at puso mo, mayroong kagalakan. You understand? Now here, they were overjoyed and they coming to the house. They saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. And then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and me. My friends, joy will find its way. I'll say that again. Joy will find a way. Hindi mo napansin, pagka meron kang kakalakan, walang imposible. Yes. Amen. Pero pagka walang joy, imposible lahat. Amen. Pero pagka may kakalakan ka, wow! Ah, kaya nga, gusto ko lagi na may kakalakan kayo eh. Gusto ko lagi na merong joy. I want you to experience real joy. And real joy can only be experienced when you have Christ in your hearts. When the Lord is real in your hearts. When you're, when you have a personal intimacy with God, that is where joy comes from. Hello? And uh, siguro naman hanggang uh, ngayon ay alam nyo na na hindi dahil meron kang trabaho na meron kang joy. Diba? Karamihan sa dumarating dito, galing sa Pilipinas, they find out soon, pagkatapos nila matanggap ang kanilang sahod, that their sahod is no longer going to give them joy, it gives them sorrow. <laughs> you understand? Yung mo si Kada Tia, Uy, noon pagkaya may hallelujah, sahod na laman. Ay, sahod na laman. <laughs> Amen? Lalong-lalong na, kung pambayad na lang sa utang, di ba? Oh, wow. It, it is the beginning of sorrow. And yet, if you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, it doesn't really matter. The circumstances not, do not matter anymore. Why? Because the Lord completely, uh, completely takes control of your life and because He is uh, there in your heart, uh, then there is joy. Okay? Joy is the flag blown high in the castle of my heart for the king is in residence there. Hallelujah. Now, here is the irony. And he says in Hosea, I will call them my people who are not my people. Tatawagan ko sila aming mga sariling bayan na hindi ko naman pababayan. And I will call her my loved one. Tatawagan ko sila mga mahal ko na hindi ko naman dating mahal. Amen? Alam natin ang dahil sa hindi na extend sa mga Gentiles, hindi ba nga sabi ni Apostol Pablo sa Romans na wala tayo nang dapat ipagmalaki sapagkat tayo ay hindi natural branches, ikaw ay may narkot lang. Alam niyo ba kanil yung narkot? Ay, itusugsog ka lang sa... Itinugsog ka lang ng Diyos. Nang dahil sa kanyang mayamang diyaya. Kaya mas marami tayong dapat Ipagpasalaman sa Panginoon kasi mas malaki ang utang na loob natin kaysa sa mga Hudyo. Kasi ang mga Hudyo, pinili na ng Diyos eh. Pero tayo na-extend ang grace ng Panginoon sa mga Gentiles. Because of this, I will call them my people. Dati hindi kakasama sa Commonwealth ng Israel. Ngayon ay kasama ka na. Dati ay hindi ka tao ng Diyos. Ikaw ay tao na ng Diyos ngayon. Dati ay hindi ka kasama uh, sa uh, commonwealth ka ng Israel ngayon ay kasama ka na. Amen. And Thank your citizenship. And you become as well as the children of Abraham. You become the children of Abraham by virtue of your faith in Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. 
Ay nyo, at saka alam nyo, pag medyo, hindi mahirap magbigay ng uh, something expensive. Katulad ng gold. Uh, frankincense is uh, something that you put uh, on eh. And then you smear is something that you, uh, 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 that will cause healing. And so, my friends, noong unang panahon, hindi nga lang sila tatlo, karabag sila. And sabi ng isang commentary, hindi lang uh, uh, maliit na gold ang dala nila. Hindi lang uh, unting frankincense ang dala nila. And hindi lang uh, uh, limited mirror ang dala nila. They came in abundance. And so you see that, that uh, if there is joy, uh, the philosophy of the Maja is again another irony of Christmas. Now, may nagsabi na sabi ni O. Henry, the Maja, as you know, were wise men, wonderfully wise men who brought gifts to the babe in the manger. They invented the art of giving Christmas presents. By the way, they did not invent exchange gifts. <laughs> Amen? Alam mo, a few years ago, kata Christmas, meron kami exchange gift. Now, one, uh, one Christmas, and uh, after that Christmas, I vowed, I will never have exchange gift again. Okay, pagkatapos ng exchange gift, ang daming galit. <laughs> you just add, Hallelujah! Yun lang yung Pasko na naranasan ko na maraming galit. Pagkatapos na tumanggap ng exchange gift. Sabi nung isa, hindi naman umabot ng 100 ito. <laughs> okay? Now, na parang nabuksan ang aking mga mata. Sabi ko, the childishness of Christmas. The childishness of exchange gift. You, I give you, you give me. And I am expecting you give me more than I give. <laughs> Hello? Amen. You understand? Yeah. And so sabi ko, bakit, ano? And bakit ka, bakit ka umaasa ng gift eh, hindi mo naman birthday? Amen. Totoo. Yan pa ang isang ironical. Sino ka may birthday? Si Lord naman na may birthday. Okay? Ben so, kung talaga gusto mong magkaroon ng gift giving, Abay, simulan mo. Again? You understand? Hallelujah. Meron kaya? <laughs> if you have no joy, there is a leak in your Christianity somewhere. Kung wala kang joy uh, in your coming to church, kung wala kang joy, then uh, siguro may tumatagas sa buhay mo somewhere. Hanapin ko yun and uh, plug it up so that there will be no leak. Ano kaya mangyayari kung si Jonah na iniwasan niya ang call ng Panginoon at saka si Thomas na laging nagdadaw ay magkita? Siguro na, pakarami nilang pag-uwetman. Amen? This brings us to the third, the fragility of the Messiah. Say the word with me, fragility. Alam niyo yung word ng fragile? Yes. Diba? Papasakit. Yes. Okay? Uh, pagka meron kang door-to-door, -door, kumisan pinalalagyan mo ng fragile para huwag ipagsak. <laughs> Kasi pag ipinagsak nila, may masisira sa loob. Kaya, fragile. Okay? Pinaka-iingat-ingat dahil babasagin. Now, the Messiah did not come uh, the way we expected him to be. The Messiah did not come the way the Jews were expecting him. The Jews were expecting that the Messiah is going to be born in a palace. The uh, Jews were expecting that the Messiah is going to come as a powerful, superhuman uh, revolutionary that will save them from uh, the, the power and authority of the Roman Empire. In other words, the Jews were expecting a political messiah. Can you imagine the irony of Jesus being born in a manger? Amen? 
Alam niyo, nakakatuwa pagka mamamasyal ka sa sa mga department store ngayon. May mga na PBTC. Andyan si Mary. Andyan si uh, si Joseph. May kungkot siya. And then, napaka-meet ni Jesus na nakalagay doon sa sabsabat. Andyan din yung baka. Andyan din yung ito. Napaka-linis. If we are really going to be realistic, kinakailangan maglagay talaga ng tunay na tae. Doon ng baka doon sa sa paligid ko. Kasi sabsaba nyo. Do you understand? And does it not blow your mind that Jesus went through a birth canal? Dumaan siya sa isang birth canal ng isang babae. Hindi ba pwede na dumating si Jesus na superman na siya, na meron siyang uh, eight na uh, kapa na uh, red and uh, with uh, superman. Na hindi niya kailangan maging infant. Can I tell you? Uh, uh, yung aming, aming, aming apo, hindi pa nagsasalita eh. I, I tell you, uh, dumaan si Lord na hindi siya makapagsalita. Hindi naman siya na pagkatapos niyang ipinanganap, eh, <laughs> nagsabi ka agad siya, I am the way, <laughs> the truth, and the life. <laughs> Nag-intay pa tayo ng 30 years bago niya sinabi. You understand? And so, ang ibig sabihin ng, ng fragility is vulnerability. Ang paano siya naging vulnerable? When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up and said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until, you, uh, until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and during the night, left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. Now, it only uh, tells us one thing. Alak pang two years old si Jesus, may threat na sa buhay niya. Fugitive na siya. Nananap po. Can you imagine the mother carrying the child? Siguro eh, hindi na nakapag-prepare uh, ng, uh, ng uh, tampipi at uh, nilagay yung... Uh... My daughter, my, 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 my... My apo was privileged to be born in one of the most sophisticated hospitals in the world today. The Hong Kong uh, Public Hospital is one of the best. Napaka-sanitized. Amen? And ngayon pa lang, dahil firstborn nga nung aking anak, wow! Pamisan, uh, sinasabi ko, oh, pumili na naman kayo ng kung ano ano sa bahay. Okay. And yung mga equipment ngayon, dati noon, sabi ko, wala kami niyan noon, nabuhin naman kami. <laughs> <laughs> Ang mga gatas ngayon, iba-iba na pangalan, merong hit. <laughs> eh dati sabi noon, S26. Diba? Or Sipona. Eh ngayon, uh, uh, may mga may stroller ka na, may car seat ka pa, may may carrier pa, kaya nga pag darating dito, ang dami na. <laughs> and yet, Jesus was on the run before he was even two years old. Vulnerable. Hindi kaya, mas may, ma, 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 mabuti na lang na, kasi, Jesus is Lord of Angels. Hindi ba pwede na sabihin niya si Angel Michael, diyan ka sa pinto. <laughs> Do you think Herod can touch him? No. You understand? And yet the Lord has chosen himself to be vulnerable for you and for me. Now, the irony of this one is this. 
Jesus being in the very nature of God. Ang nature ni Lord God siya. He did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Hindi niya ginamit ang kanyang pagkatsyos upang uh, lipulin si Herod, upang lipulin ang lahat ng gustong pumatay sa kanya na nakpo siya katulad ng tao. Amen? Rather, he made himself nothing! Mayroon kaya maging nothing when you are something. <laughs> you understand? Hello? Mayroon maging nothing. And being made uh, be, uh, by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Wow. In this one verse, it tells us the greatest irony of all time. Jesus is both God and man. Amen. Siya ay Diyos. Siya ay God. Amen? Christ did not suffer, so you wouldn't suffer. Okay? Maraming, uh, maraming mga churches ngayon nagsasabi sila na hindi ka na dapat naghihirap kasi ang paghihirap mo ay pinaghirap na ng Panginoon. That is a wrong theology. Christ did not suffer, so you wouldn't suffer. He suffered so that when you suffer, you will become like you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. My friends, there is no escaping suffering. Okay? Sabi nga ni Lord, if they persecute me, they will also persecute you. If I suffer, you also suffer. In fact, He was encouraging you to pick up His cross and follow Him. Amen? Now, ito yung, ito yung mga verse na aayaw bang hitin ng mga nasa hyper grace theology. Yung mga hyper-waste theology kasi, lahat ay ginawa na ng Panginoon para sa iyo. Totoo naman. Kanya lang, sinabi pa rin niya, na pupuhatin mo ang cross niya at susunod ka sa kanya. Now, ang cross na yun ay hindi cross na papel. <laughs> Mabigat siya, kapatid. You understand? Hallelujah. Vulnerability is not winning or losing. It's having the courage to show up and be seen when we have no control over the outcome. Vulnerability is not weakness. It is our greatest measure of courage. And Jesus did uh, model that for us. He was vulnerable mm -hmm. until the time when he was crucified on the cross of Calvary. Kanya nga, tinutuya siya ng mga tao, di ba, habang nandun siya sa cross, katabi niya yung isang uh, uh, magdanako. Sabi, di ba, sabi ng isang magdanako, kung ikaw nga ang anak ng Diyos, kaya-kaya mo kaming iligtas at bumaba sa cross na ito. In fact, Jesus can. And yet, He chose to die for your sake and mine. Amen. And therefore, ganito tayo ngayon. We are uh, struggling in the sea of vulnerability. And we always face it. There were only something that could help me get through this. But we wade through and we are helped by that salvavida called trust. Amen? Hallelujah. The last but not the least. Pwede mo nang isingin ang katabi mo sa ibang last na siya. Okay? The ferocity of Herod. Okay? Ang pangangalit ni Herod. Now, we all know na si Herod is the ruthless, the most ruthless king of Israel. Sa dami ng pinapatay ni Herod, hindi mabila. Maging asawa niya, pinapapatay niya. Maging anak niya, naging threat sa kanyang throne. Ay pinapatay niya. Si Jesus pa kaya? And so when Herod realized that he had been outwitted, na paglalangan siya ng mga magi, he was furious. Galit na galit. And so he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, 
in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Mayroon ka batid, uh, isa sa mga irony na nakikita ko dito ay yung pangangalit ni Herod. Okay? Bakit kaya hinayaan ng ni Lord si Herod na makapangyari ang kanyang uh, ginawa? Nagkaroon ng massacre or infanticide noong panahon niya sapagkat he ordered the killing of all kids, of all infants under 2 years old. Kasi ang estimate ng uh, araw na yun ay si Jesus is about uh, 2 years old or below. And so lahat ng mga lalaki na ipinanganak 2 years below ay ipinapatay niya. And uh, uh, we can only wonder how many kids died during that day. And uh, many times, we sing that song, Joy to the world, the Lord is come. And indeed, we have all the reason to rejoice. But we have also all the reason to be mournful. Because so many died when He came. Yes. And those who died were innocent as children. And imagine the, the bereaved mothers. Kanya nga sinabi dito na a voice it was uh, to fulfill what the prophet Jeremiah said na mayroong tinig na narinig sa rama. Uh, yun ay mga iyak at uh, uh, dakilang pag uh, uh, mumor, pag uh, yun o. Rachel weeping for her children. Si Rachel daw nubiiyak sa kanyang mga anak and refused to be comforted because they are no more. The violence that was done during that day cannot be compared. Okay? Although na, eh, siguro pagka iniisip natin ngayon yung violence na nangyari, I have not seen a child being killed by a soldier. Although I have heard many in the news ngayon, Christians that are being persecuted in the Middle East, uh, hindi mo siya mababasa sa newspaper. But if you go online and you will uh, type uh, Christians under persecution, you will find there mga kalunos-lunos na ginagawa ng tao sa kapwa-tao sa mga maka na inosente na napakaraling namamatay. And sabi nga nila, there are more Christians that uh, are killed in our generation than all the wars combined since the beginning of time. Mas marami parang namamatay ng kristyano ngayon kesa sa lahat ng digmaan, namatay sa digmaan sa kasaysayan ng tao. And yet, the violence that is being done okay, by the world today and during the time of King Herod cannot be compared to the violence that was being done to the Son of God. Okay? You know why? Now, here, here is the irony. He was pierced for our transgression. Siya rao ay sinakan or sinugatan ng dahil sa iyong kasalanan at hindi lang ikaw ng buong mundo. Sabi dyan, He was crushed for our iniquities. Siya ay binuro ng dahil sa ating mga pagkakamali at mga kasalanan. Ang ating parusa uh, para sa atin ay nagdala ng kapayapaan na nagdala ng kapayapaan ay ipinatong lahat sa kanya and by his wounds we are healed my friends if you begin to think about these things na higit pa ang uh, violence na nangyari sa Panginoon kesa sa lahat ng violence maging ang ferocity ng panganalit ni Herod. Uh, Christ exposed himself not only to the unbridled hostility of angry men. Si Lord daw, hindi niya in-expose ang kanyang sarili sa galit lang ng tao nung panahon yun. But to the unmitigated wrath of God. Now in the Bible, alam natin na ang Diyos ay napupuot sa kasalanan. Lahat ng puot ng Diyos sa kasalanan ay ipinato sa cross ng Calvary. 
the intensity of the wrath of God was poured out on the cross of Calvary. Remember that. Amen? And that is the irony of it all. Probably the greatest irony in the history of man is when Jesus died on the cross for all of our sins. Hallelujah. My friends, there is no greater irony than that. But praise God for that irony. Amen. Amen. Within my own lifetime, sabi ni uh, Jesse Helms, I have seen the most ferocious assault on Christian faith and morals. First on the part of the intellectual com community and then on the part of the government. The federal government has not even tried to conceive its hostility to religion. Uh, the war is uh, raging in America today. Uh, Harvard University, which is supposed to be a Christian university, has become a liberal university, a university of evil. Again, ang alay mo ngayon, pinipersecute na mismo sa campus ng mga Christian. Matapos nila ipagbawal ang uh, prayer in the classroom. Na dati noon, mayroon pang mga uh, youth with a mission that we can go to uh, universities and preach the gospel today, no more. Amen. Dati lahat ng uh, portroom sa Amerika may nakalagay in God we trust. Ngayon ay na, uh, wala na siya. Hindi na siya pwedeng maglagay na in God we trust. And there is a book to remove even in God we trust from the uh, U.S. Uh, money. My friends, you and I are living in the end times. The ferocity of Herod Okay, in the person of the Antichrist is going to be more and more. Hallelujah. My friends, are you ready for the second coming of the Messiah? Yes. Hallelujah. Being a Christian isn't easy this day. I remember a time when my faith was upheld by the culture I lived in. But today society has become hostile towards me and my beliefs. Tell me about it. The Lord Jesus Christ says He was on the cross. Tell me about it. He already did when He was on the cross. He was already persecuted. Amen? Hallelujah. My friends, wala na po. Shall we all rise? Sing a song again. Lord, I can't feel that I can't Walang kasiguruhan ang kanilang madarat na nangyayat may kasiguruhan sa kanilang puso. Alam nila na matatagpuan nila ang Mesiyas. Alam nila na darat na nila. 
nakita nila ang panatandaan. And uh, nagkaroon sila ng uh, marutog na hangarin na matagpuan ng design. Isa lang ang dahilan kung bakit sila nagpunta. They want to worship it. It is ironical that people who do not even know Christ have such seed, have such yearning to see the Messiah. Kumusta ang uh, kalagayan mo, kapatid, may maharap mo ito? Nais ko rin hamunin, ikaw na sa kaunaw na ang pagkakataon ay dumano sa aming gawain. Marahil ay nangusap sa iyo ang Panginoon kanina habang nagsasalita ako. Kapatid, hindi ko alam. Hindi kita kilala. Ngunit kilalang kilala ka ni Lord. May humanan ito. At kung ikaw ay narito, nais kong sabihin sa iyo, mahal na mahal na mahal ka ng Diyos. Kaya ka narito dahil sinadya niya na narito ka ngayong araw nito. And so, kapatid, kung narito ka, Huwag kang manatakot, huwag kang may idea. Ahamonin kita. Kumakatok si Lord sa puso mo ngayon at sinasabi niya na ngayon na ang araw na ginawa ko para sa iyo. Kapatid, ulitin ko ulit. Huwag kang matakot. Huwag kang mahiya. Katulad mo lang kami eh. Makasalanan. Ngunit katulad mo ngayon, hinamon din kami ng Panginoon na magbalik mo sa kanya. Kapatid, hindi mo pagsisisihan ang gagawin mo sa mga sandali nito. So, it was the moment na tinanggap mo ang paanyayan niya. And then, the Lord makes you a member of His family. And gano'n nga ang nais kong mangyari sa iyo ngayong araw. And so, ulitin ko ulit, uh, isang bagay lang ang nais kong gawin mo kapatid. If you are here and you know in your heart that the Lord has brought you here for a purpose. And then, is to know that He is your Savior. Kapatid, pinanyahan kita na tanggapin mo siya. At isang bagay lang, gagawin mo, you will just lift up your hands at pag itinas mo ang kamay mo, ipapanalangin kita may yung mamala mo siya. If you are here and you know in your heart, I tell you, you can just lift up your hands and we are going to pray right now. Right now. Salamat po sa mga kamay na ito. Is there anyone else? Yes, thank you for that hand sa likod. Yes, if you know that the Lord is calling you for uh, to become a member of His family, then lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Ay po'y manalang. Panginoon, salamat po sa mga sandaling ito. Nadalain ko, Panginoon, ang lahat ng kamay na nagsisignify na tanggapin ka Lord, dalangin ko na matanggap ka na nila ng tunay sa kanilang mga puso. Dalangin ko, Panginoon, na ang bawat kaluluwa nito, matagpuan nila ang kanilang sarili na isinusubo ang kanilang kahapon, kasalubuyan at kinabukasan sa iyo lamang. Lord, patawad po sa lahat ng mga paglilipon, patawad po sa lahat ng mga pag-iwas, Patawad, Lord, sa lahat ng paghihimagsip ng puso. Patawad, Lord, sa lahat ng maling desisyong ginawa. Patawad, Lord, sa lahat ng taong sinangkat. And Lord, salamat sa pag-aayos mo. Ikaw ang nagtutuwid ng buhay. Ikaw ang nagbibigay ng panibagong chance sa bawat isa sa amin. Salamat sa araw na ito. Talangin ko, Panginoon, na bawat isa na magpapartake ng communion ay magkaroon ng panibagong sigla, panibagong init, panibagong apoy sa paglilipot sa iyo. Salamat mo. Sa iyo binabalik ang lahat ng pabuli at pagsamba sa natatanging pangalan lamang ng aming Panginoong Jesus at ang lahat ay magsabi na panalili po tayo na patayo uh, na ko pong uh, pasahin ng isang uh, pahina para sa ating communion. Sabi po sa 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus on the night He was betrayed took bread. 
And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you, so this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Tayo po'y manalangin. Panginoon, salamat po sa tinapay na ito. Ang simbolo ng iyong katawan. Pinugbog, pinahirapan, nagtamo ng maraming sugat at kahihiyan. Ang dahilan sa amin. Lord, alangin ko na bawat isa na magpapartik nito ay magbabalik tanaw dalawang libong taon na nakakaraan sa kamanghamang hanggilawa mo sa cross ng kalbay. Salamat po. Lord, salamat din sa kupang ito na simpuno ng iyong bagong pagigipagunay sa amin. Salangin ko, Lord, ng bawat isa na inginom nito ay magkabit ng mga abo. Lord, na nangako ka ang lahat ng ikilala sa iyo ay binibigyan mo ng karapatan upang maging anak ng Diyos. Lord, kami nga ay naging iyong mga anak. Dalangin ko na ang bawat isa na naririto ngayong hapon ay maging anak mo rin. Ang hindi pa tumatanggap sa iyo ay tumanggap sa iyo. Maranasan nila ang kapangyarihan ng iyong pagkabuhay na maguli. Sa iyo, minabalik ang lahat ng papuri at pagsamba. Sa natakangin, pangalan lamang ng aming Panginoong Yesus at ang lahat po ay magsabi na ayun po ay maupo. Awitin po natin ito at pagkat po ng mga elemento ay inin at inumin. Yeah.
Amen. 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 Amen.